What is going on my sheep farm? My name is Sub Sheepy and today I am going to be doing a P90 weapon review. Um, so, uh, this is Battlefield 4, obviously, um, so this is kind of my first really weapon, weapon review that I've done so far. Now, uh, I just uploaded, uh, some, uh, informational video on how to play old gen consoles on Xbox One, which is pretty cool, so you should, guys should go check that out. Um, so let's get in to the weapon review. So the P90, um, I'll tell you how to unlock it with and without a spoiler. So you unlock it by choosing the person on the left at the very end of the campaign. Um, so, uh, choosing the person on the left in the very end of the campaign. So, uh, skip ahead a few seconds. I'll put a giant white thing on screen. Or, I don't know, I'll put something on screen for when, uh... The spoiler's done, so look at the little thing. So, um, how you unlock it with a spoiler is you choose Hannah to die at the very end. So, yeah. Um, so, the now let's get into the weapon review. Um, so, uh, the statistics. Uh, the max damage is 21, so at close range before the drop-off. And, um, the minimum damage is 11.2, so, um... It's pretty low damage for uh for just its weapon class, you know. Um, it's not super low damage for its whole class, but it's 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 pretty low. Like an average would be around like thirty five. I think that's the average of weapons. But um, yeah. So the drop off starts uh, starts at eight meters and it ends at sixty meters. So if you're if you're shooting at sixty meters or more, you're probably you're not gonna hit. So, uh, the fire rate is 900 RPM, so, um, that's, uh, pretty good. That, that's a super high fire rate. It's nice for close quarters combat, like, uh, I have some gameplay up of Operation Firestorm, or, <laughs> Operation Locker. <laughs> um, so, and with bursting, still, it's 900, uh, RPM. So, um, so the, uh, the mag size is 51, which is it has a decently good mags, so, uh, yeah, also, I'm getting all my stats for Sith, Sith, Simthic.com, it's kind of hard to pronounce, I'll put it in the description so you guys can see it. So, um, the reload time with, uh, it empty is 3.45 seconds, which is, it's kind of a long reload time, but it's worth it. Because you're going to be have to reloading a lot, but you have a bigger clip. And the reload with bullets left is 2.45 seconds. So a second more when you have to, when you have no bullets. So, um, the recoil, I'll just do these. The recoil up is 0 0.35, the recoil left is 0 0.5, and the recoil right is 0 0.5. I've actually noticed that the, uh, the, um, the recoil left goes a little bit to the left more it starts to sway off to the left so uh that's something that's kind of annoying you know so um yeah so let's see so the bullets to kill at um oh at two meters is uh wait this is kind of confusing oh so on uh vanilla so here's the vanilla stats the uh to how many bullets it takes to kill. So at two meters on vanilla, it is five. At uh, fourteen, it's about six. At thirty meters, it's six again. Oh wait, no. At um, thirty-three meters, it's seven. At forty-five meters, it is eight. Then it goes up to 9 from then on at 54 meters. So, uh, and then hardcore is 2.5 at 2, 14, 6, th uh, 47, or 45, and then 50, uh, 56, 9, and then 9 from then on. So, um, sorry, th I've, I'm kind of new to this, so I'm, I'm just kind of looking on how this works. So, if I get a little bit messed up sorry <laughs> so um it has all of the 
regular attachments like suppressors, heavy barrel, flash hider, compensator, muzzle brake, target pointer. Now, um, I've slapped on... Uh, wait, let's talk about the iron sights first. The iron sights are really bad. I, I hate them. Ugh. It's just gross. It's It blocks so much of your peripheral vision. You could get your guns in the way. So I'd advise putting on, like, a uh, reflex is pretty good for it. I put on the, uh... For part of this gameplay, I put on the, uh, the, the holographic sight. Um, so it also has a super tiny uh, spread or crosshairs. Yeah, it's a recoil f for when you're not, um, for when you're hip firing. So it's really good. So um, I, I think, I personally think, just an overview of this weapon, this is a really good weapon for close quarters. Um, yeah, it's just de it's a really good weapon. I personally think this is like the only PDW I'm using right now. Like I've tried all the others, not the all the others, but most of them, and I don't really like them. Ex this is like the only PDW I really like. So, uh, yeah. So if this video helped you out in any way, you should give it a like. You should also subscribe for more Battlefield 4, Xbox One, and Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. So that's about it guys. Bye. Fuck this boy.